All right, guys, okay, welcome to the afternoon stretch. Okay, so I'm Kenneth. Okay, today we're leading you through three different segments of our workouts. Okay, so segment number one, okay, I'm going to take you guys through a burn workout. So simple, five different exercises, okay, 40 seconds of work, okay, 20 seconds of rest. We're taking it two rounds, all right? So five exercises, two rounds, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Okay, so go as fast as you can. Okay, it's a burn segment, so make sure try to wrap it out as fast as you can. But make sure as you wrap it out, make sure you maintain that form. Okay, that's uh, an emphasis. Make sure always maintain that form. Do not okay, uh, go around and just okay, try to hit the reps as fast. Okay, make sure always maintain and go. All right, so uh, exercise number one, okay, we are going for mountain climbers. Okay, so in uh, push-up position, okay, hands down. Okay, we're going to have our shoulders okay, right above the hands. So make sure don't drop the hips too much. Try to keep it okay, at an angle, okay, as you go for your mountain climbers, knees all the way into your chest, okay, and go as fast as you can. See, so try not to move the hips around too much or shoulders around too much, okay, as you go for those mountain climbers, okay, knees all the way in, okay, as fast as you can, all right, you should feel, okay, your quads burning as you push all the way forward for those mountain climbers, shoulders pushing down as you go as fast as you can, all right, okay, so second exercise, okay, we are going for high knees, okay, so as you go for your high knees, try to stay okay, on your toes. Okay, so on your toes, you're gonna go up into your high knees. Okay, make sure your knees up high. Okay, do not jog on the spot. Okay, make sure. Okay, bring those knees up. Okay, you can use your hands as well. Okay, as though you're running. Okay, go as fast as you can. Bring those knees up high. All right. Okay, so third exercise. Okay, we are going to work a little bit of the core. Okay, we're going down. Okay, onto the ground. Okay, leg raises. Okay, hands down by the side, feet together. Okay, bring your heels down without touching the ground. You're gonna bring it all the way up, okay, and down. So we're working the core, in case you feel your lower abs going as you go up and down, okay. So control the movement as well. Make sure you engage your core fully, okay, as you go up and down, okay. So exercise number four, okay, we're going for side planks. Okay, side planks, again, working on your core muscles. Okay, this time we're working the side, so the oblique. Okay, we're gonna have feet together, gonna drop the hips down, push it all the way up. Okay, as high as you can. You should feel, okay, your obliques working. Okay, but don't worry, we can switch sides as we go into our second round, okay? If you can't balance on that one, you can always have one foot forward, one foot back. Okay, drop those hips, push it all the way up. So that front leg is gonna help you push yourself up high as you go for those side planks, okay? So last exercise, okay, we are going for jumping jacks. So simple enough, stay on your toes. Okay, bring those hands up as you go for those jumping jacks. So maintain those, the heart rate as you keep going through that set. So remember, five exercises. Okay, we are going two rounds, 40 seconds to work, 20 seconds to rest. Okay, can uh, grab a drink before we start, grab a towel, okay, and we are going to go with mountain climbers for our first exercise, okay? So in 10 seconds, we're going for mountain climbers. Remember, push-up position, knees all the way into your chest. So let's go in three, in two, and one. All right, 40 seconds. Let's go for those mountain climbers. So knees all the way forward. Okay, shoulders, make sure have it right above your hands. Okay, lock out those elbows as well. Okay, make sure stable and keep going all the way, all right? So we've got about 20 more seconds. Okay, just so go as fast as you can at your own pace. Don't worry about it. Okay, if you can't go too fast, that's all right. Okay, so keep going. Okay, these are, this is a really good exercise. Okay, it's gonna bring your heart rate up. Okay, knees all the way in. Keep going all the way. Hips do not move around too much. The last five seconds. Okay, in three, two, and one. Okay, nice, 20 seconds of rest. Okay, we are going for high knees next, so simple enough. Remember, bring those knees up high as you go for those high knees. Okay, stay on your toes as well, okay, as you go, okay, left to right. Okay, so use your hands as well as though you're running, and we are going, all right? So in three, in two, and one, on your toes, let's go, all right? Okay, so use those hands, swing it side to side, as though you're just jogging on the spot. Okay, except you're bringing your knees up high. All right, okay, good. Okay, all the way, stay in those toes. Keep going. Okay, on the spot. Okay, 20 seconds of work. Okay, look at me, I'm going, I'm staying on my toes. Okay, landing, switching left to right. Okay, 10 more seconds of work. Okay, doing good, guys. Okay. Okay, in three, in two, and one. Okay, your heart rate should be going up 
at this rate, okay, then we're going to bring it down, okay, to work the core down on the ground. Okay, you can gonna, gonna have your hands down by the side. Okay, if you have any back injuries, okay, you can always place okay, your hands down by your bum. That's gonna protect your lower back as you go for your leg raises. All right, so let's go up and down. Okay, for those leg raises. Okay, you can have your hands down by the side as well. Okay, you should really feel your lower abs working. Bring it up and down. Okay, for those leg raises. Okay, so slightly lift off. Okay, bum off the ground as you bring it down, control the movement. Okay, do not go too fast on this one. I want you guys to control, really work the core. Okay, as you bring it together. So feet together, legs straight. Let's go up and down. Okay, up, bring it down. Let's go for the last one. Up, down nice and slow. Well done. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to work a little bit more on the core. Okay, so side planks. Okay, going on our left, or you can start with the right, doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to switch it over on the second round. Okay, in 10 seconds, you can get in position first. Hold it there. Okay, work the core a little bit more in three, two, and one. Let's go. So drop it down, push it all the way up. Okay, so shoulders should be right above your elbows. Okay, as you drop for those planks, all right? So make sure you maintain that position as you go up, up and down. Okay, if you can't do that, remember you can always have one foot in front. It's a regression. You're gonna push all the way down, all the way up. So th this foot is gonna help you balance, help you push into the ground as well. Otherwise, you can always go with just your hands. Okay, and push all the way up. You should feel your core working on this one. Last 10 seconds. Okay, in three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, so last one. Okay, for, for the first round, we are going for our jumping jack. So simple enough. Just hands up. Okay, bring the heart rate slightly up as we go, as we end the first round. Okay, so get ready. Get in a position. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Okay, so again, stay on your toes. Okay, 40 seconds. Jumping jacks. Simple exercise on this one. Nothing too complicated. Okay, so good. Keep going. Okay, legs out. In, out, and in. Okay, nice. 20 more seconds, halfway there. Okay, keep going on those jumping jacks. Okay, you got 10 more seconds. Okay, nice. Bring your heart rate up. Okay, last five. Three, and two, and one. Well done. Okay, good. So 20 seconds to rest. We're going for our second round. Okay, back into our mountain climbers, okay? So mountain climbers, make sure shoulders right above the hands. Always, always maintain that position as you go knees into your chest. Okay, so get ready. Okay, down on the ground. Two, and one. Okay, and let's go. So knees all the way in. Okay, shoulders right above the hands. There you go, all the way in. Feel yourself crunching in. Okay, as you go for those mountain climbers, bring your knees all the way in, as close as you can to your chest. Okay, keep going, halfway there. Okay, feel yourself breathing. Okay, make sure don't hold your breath as you go through the exercises. Keep breathing, 10 more seconds. Last five. Okay, good. In three, two, and one. All right, rest up. Okay, next, you're gonna bring our heart rate even higher. Okay, we're going for our high knees. Okay, so knees up high, swing those hands. Okay, 10 more seconds of rest before we start. Okay, shake it off. Okay, you're gonna stretch out your quads. Okay, do a little bit of stretching before you go. In three, in two, and one. All right, let's go. So high knees. Remember, use those hands. Okay, and bring your knees up high. Okay. okay, your knees should be perpendicular to your hips as you go with those knees all the way up. Okay, nice. 20 seconds. Keep going all the way. Nice. Okay, 10 more seconds. Okay, go as fast as you can. Last 10 seconds. I'm gonna push the rate, push the pace. Get your heart rate up in three, two, and 
One, Whew, well done, good job. So 20 seconds of rest before we go on to our leg raises, all right? So down on the ground, bring those legs up, okay? And we're working that core. Okay, so it's gonna bring your heart rate down, but still working your abs as you go. Okay, so in three, two, one, leg straight. Okay, bring it all the way up. Okay, those of you, okay, wanna protect that lower back, okay, have your hands behind your back. Just bring those legs up and down. Okay, good. Legs together, you can point your toes as well. Really engage. Okay. Okay, using your quads as well as you bring it up. Okay, engaging those hips as you bring it all the way up above the ground and back down. Okay, 10 more seconds. Come on, keep going. Nice. Last five. Give me a couple more reps. Okay, let's go. Last one. And well done. All right. So 20 seconds of rest. Okay, we're going for side plank. So stay down on the ground. Okay, going on to the other side. If you started with your left, you're going to go right now. If you started with your right, going down to your left. Okay, so get in position. Okay, down onto your elbows. Okay, remember, shoulders above your elbows, dropping those hips. Okay, pushing it as high as you can. Okay, all the way up. Nice. Okay, again, regression. One foot forward, and drop those hips. Use your heels and push into the ground. Okay, as you come all the way up. Okay, it's gonna help you stabilize and help you push a little bit higher as well. Okay, for this. Otherwise, feet together, pushing it all the way up high and push. Okay, last 10 seconds. Drop the hips, push it up high. Last five. Give me last two reps, all the way up. One more, all the way down, all the way up. There you go. Okay, so good. Last two exercises. Okay, before Yao Xiang is going to come in, take you guys through segment number two. Okay, so side planks, we're done. Going for our jumping jacks. Okay, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and we are done. All right, so let's go. 20 seconds of rest. Okay, now we're working. Let's go. So bring the heart rate up again as fast as you can on those jumping jacks. Okay, stay in your toes. Okay, legs out wide, wider than your shoulder width. Okay, as you go for those jumping jacks. Okay, nice. Keep going, last 20 seconds, halfway there. Well done, 15. Okay, let's end strong, end the first segment. Strong, last 10, as fast as you can. Let's go. Okay, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, okay, good job on segment number one. That was your burner set. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. We wrapped it out for that set. Okay, well done. Okay, Yao Zheng's gonna come in for segment number two. Okay, he's gonna take you through his workout, and then I'm gonna come back for segment number three and finish the workout off. So good job, guys. Grab a drink, okay. Stretch a little bit, and then Yao Xiang is going to come in and bring you through his awesome workout, all right? So thank you. I love how this rush gear makes me feel. Every time I put it on, I feel super powerful. My training is super intense. So I need something like this that's going to make me feel strong and ready to go. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Yao Xiang and welcome to the second segment of the afternoon stretch. 
Uh, as men Ken uh, Kenneth mentioned, to the, uh, I'll be taking you through the second segment, which is really a bit, a bit more fast-paced, uh, heart rate raising segment. So there's going to be seven exercises that we'll be doing, and each exercise will be doing only 25 seconds with a very short 10 seconds break. The objective is to really push yourself in terms of your tempo, right? To really get those uh, heart rate up as fast as you can. Okay, so it's a little bit different uh, in terms of objective from the first segment from mine. So there are seven exercises. I'm going to demo quickly through them, very basic ones. So the first one, the first two will be down on the floor, right? You'll be doing a very nice snowball hold, which means you're just going to lift your knees up, hands behind your head, elbows, and try to touch your knee, holding that nice round ball shape. If you can't, if your elbows and knees can't reach, it's fine. Just make sure the gap between the elbows and knees are as small as possible throughout the whole entire 25 seconds. Right, the next one will be mountain climb, uh, sorry, not mountain climber, bicycle crunches, a little bit like the mountain climbers, but instead of facing down, you'll be facing up. Technique is the same, one leg straight, one knee in, and you will reach across, right? So you have that long movement, right? You don't want to be too small, you want to really kick it out and pull it in with those long range of movements. The next one, you'll be up on the on your feet, we're going to be doing some punches. So what the challenge is, you're going to punch really as quick as you can without moving your hips, right? Without moving your hips means you have to engage your core, which means that you need to stabilize everything and you realize that once you punch fast, although it's only 25 seconds, your heart rate is really going to go up. So this is how it looks like. You want to anchor yourself down the floor, really push your feet into the ground, anchor, punch with your elbows low and you want to extend your elbows as far as you can, as fast, and your heart rate will go up. Next one, we're going to move down to our legs and a little bit of core as well. It's going to be a forward lunge. So when you do a lunge, it's actually a two-movement um, exercise, which you want to go forward. So I'm going to take my right leg and go forward. And once I plant my right leg, I'm going to go downwards, right? And I come up again. So I'm going to do it on the left side. So go forward and down and add a twist. So you realize that the front leg is 90 degrees. Okay, and the next one, you're going to go upper body, child's pose, into a push-up. So you start your push-up position, shoulders directly above your palms, core, engage, which means your shoulder, uh, your body and your legs should be one straight line as much as you can. You're going to go for one push-up and pushing yourself backwards, driving your hips towards your heels, coming forward and down again, right? The next one, you're going to stay down on the ground. You can do, uh, we're going to do a plank spider, which means you can be either on your palms or on your forearm, up to you. But regardless, check your form, hips low enough so that your core engage, knees going around the body, not under, because as you bring under, you might push your hips up. So you want to go around, keeping those hips nice and flat, okay? And of course, the last one, um, it's going to be high knees, so you want to be dri driving your knees up, right? So 90 degrees, you're going to do from the side, 90 degrees, you want to switch as fast as you can. Switch, keep switching, driving your legs alternate, okay? So we're going to start quickly in 10 seconds. Remember, the objective is to move as fast as you can. So the first one is down to the ground, relatively simple, hands behind your head. You want to hold a nice shape. Gonna make sure your elbows touching your knees. We're gonna round that back. And remember, round your shoulders off. Those people who find this um, easy, you wanna go further by going beyond the knees. Right? The tighter your hold is, the harder you'll be. We're gonna hold in three, two, one. Take a quick breather, 10 seconds. Remember, bicycle crunches, one leg out, one knee in as much as you can with your hands behind your head, touching elbows, ready, and let's go. So get the rhythm first. Make sure your range of movement is as far as you can. And once you get the rhythm, then you try to speed it up, okay? Keeping your shoulders always off the floor. So no matter how you're moving, your core is always engaged throughout the 25 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and. What we're going to get out on the floor, we're going to do some punches, right? So as you do some punches, remember, anchor your feet to the ground, relax, and from there, all the movement comes from the arms. The faster you punch, right, and you realize that my hips aren't swaying, when you anchor, the faster you punch, you realize that your breathing is being compromised because you want to move fast, throw your elbows out, 
pulling it in for full range of motion in five, four, three, two, and one. So the next one we'll be doing is lunges. So remember, it's a two movement, forward and down. Plant your front leg, drop your back knee. Ready? And go. Front leg, back knee, at a twist. So it's, there's always like a step. So forward, down, twist, and reverse. Forward, down, twist, and reverse. As you get used to the movement, then you try to speed things up, okay? So firstly, you realize I'm balanced. Even if I have one leg in front, two, one, and rest. We're gonna go up into those push-ups, okay? Shoulders directly above your palms, as much as you can, and pushing your hips towards the back of your heels. Ready? So one push-up, and driving yourself backwards and forward. Really lengthen your spine as you push your hips backwards. 10 seconds. Drop as low as you can for your push-ups. Let's go for one last push at the back. Ready? And relax. So the next one we'll be doing is plank spider, bringing your knees around your body, touching your elbows, right? So I'm going to go, I'm going to opt for the high plank. Hips down, core engaged at all times. No matter how I change, you realize the hip doesn't drop, right? So you want to minimize the movement in terms of moving. Can you see? I try not to drop my hips if I can, keeping it nice from where its original position is. Two, one, and rest. Last one, we're gonna finish up the first round with quick high knees, okay? So the faster you drive your knees, switching the legs, the faster your heart rate will go up in two, one. So get a rhythm first. And remember, as I like to say, you gotta swing your elbows, right? Focus on your elbows backwards, okay? Not your, so much of your wrist. Go keep swinging. The faster you swing, you realize, your core has to work, right? You've got five more seconds. Let's go hard. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's take a quick 30 seconds break. Recover as much as you can. The whole objective, I say again, really is to get your hurry up by moving really quickly, right? So objective is important because we don't want to just move through the movements and feeling tired, but not really meeting its objective, okay? We've got 10 more seconds. Let's get ready for the first one. We'll be going down to the floor. Again, as you're, you're still panting, which makes the first action a little bit difficult, let's go into the nice tuck. You can cross your legs if you want, so you don't want to think about being compact. Right, the smaller you are, the more difficult it is. As you create tension in your body, breathe. 10 more seconds before we move on to the more dynamic movement, but yet working the same core exercises. Three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna go into the bicycle, cr uh, bicycle crunches. You're still using your core at the front and your obliques as you twist, but now it's more dynamic as in there's more movement, right? Bigger range of movement, lengthening and shortening at all times, right? Alternate, shortening, lengthening. So the faster you go, like what I'm doing, your heart rate tends to go up. And of course, if you can, if you can't reach your elbows, knees and elbows can't reach, at least try. Go as far as you can. If you can't, don't worry, let's work towards it. And Rest. Next one, we're gonna get out on the floor. Punches. For some people, when we punch, some people like to sort of like a stand that is slightly one leg forward, one leg back, because one end will be going. So just keep going. If you're not sure which leg to put, right, you can tend to sort of like switch around in the middle. Right? But I, li I like to sort of plant my foot, my feet uh, parallel to my body. As I punch fast, as you're getting tired, you realize your range of motion gets smaller. You wanna really, Remember, stretch out, stretch out your arm, pulling the elbows back in three, two, one, and rest. All right, getting tired. All right, next one is the lunge. Remember, two movements and a twist. Forward, down, twist. Okay, you want to make sure you see as I drop down, my knees don't really go beyond my toes. 
So make sure to take a big a step big enough before you drop your back knee as you twist. It becomes like a 90-90. Some of you might have heard the term 90-90, front leg, back knee, 90-90. Five more seconds to go. And we'll get down to the floor, child's pose. So remember, it's pushing action, but two different directions. One is going up, one is moving back. All right, let's get down to the floor. So I'm pushing myself up, and I'm pushing myself backwards towards my heels. Pushing myself up, away from the floor, backwards towards my heels. Let's try to get a full range of motion, right? As we, even as we are increasing our tempo. And we're going to stay on the floor, playing sp spiders. So I'm going to try being on my elbows. Take a look. It's the same concept as just now. My, my torso and my legs are always in one straight line, even as I reach towards my elbows. Right? It doesn't collapse. I do not try to twist too much. Right? Remember to breathe. As you keep your spine neutral by looking 45 degrees forward, try not to tuck your head down, neither you want to look forward too much. Three, two, one, and again, we're going to end the second round with quick high knees. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. So the tendency is to reduce the range of motion as we try to go fast. So I want to challenge you, can you move faster by maintaining that long range of motion? Got 10 more seconds before we move on to the last round. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We've got one more last round, right? It's going to take about another less than two minutes of your time, but really challenge yourself. Okay, as we finish up the last round, and we welcome Kenneth back for the last segment to get those muscles burning, right? So just drink up, last 10 seconds, as we slowly make our way down to the floor. Get ready for the last one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep breath, exhale, knees and elbows touching each other. Right, so really reach your elbows out. So some of us are engaging your core. Some of us might even feel our lats or shoulders because you're really extending your elbows out towards your knees. In five, four, three, two, one. And take a break. quick break, right? So next one, before you start, roll your shoulders off. Immediately you're engaging your core. From there, legs up, cross. And as you get the range of motion going, you want to get a tempo going, a rhythm, in fact. 10 more seconds. Kicking your leg out, pointing your toes if you need to, pulling them in, in alternate fashion. Five more seconds. In three, two, and one. Let's get out on the floor quickly. Eight more seconds to go. We're going to go into punches again. Remember, from the side, don't round your back, strong stance, one leg in front, behind. If you want, start punching, really digging your foot into the ground so that you don't really move too much. Again, you feel that you need to find the balance, change leg, so that you're working both sides equally. Okay, if you, if you don't want, two legs parallel, and keep punching in three, two, one, and rest. Right, next one. Lunges, we can just try a little bit different. Let's go reverse, okay? In three, two, one, as I bring my right leg backwards, I will twist on the left side. Left leg back, twist on the right. Keep moving, nice and easy. Full range of motion as you get faster. 10 more seconds to go. Really twist and push yourself up in that straight standing position two one and we're more than halfway there right so let's get down to the floor child's pose remember pushing yourself up away from the floor and backwards ready let's go down pushing yourself back really sitting into your heels 
really work your shoulders in different directions. 10 more seconds. Right, really press into the floor, press your palms into the floor, pushing yourself back, driving those hips towards your heels. Last one. And we're going to go into the spider planks. Right, remember, torso straight, arms directly above your palms. In three, two, one. Nice and easy. So some of us might be struggling in terms of fitness, but don't worry, let's do it slowly and start improving week by week through consistent work. The 10 more seconds to go. Remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Three, two, one, and let's get up. Now down to our final high knees. We're going to go really hard and end this segment with a bang before Kenneth comes back in three, two, one. Remember to swing. Get some rhythm through swinging on your arms. Right? So just focus on your arms, swing, and the faster you swing your arms, the faster you realize that your legs have to keep up. And then indirectly, your heart rate should go up. You've got 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Good job, everybody, for segment two. So I hope you enjoy this segment quickly. It's a high speed, high tempo, high heart rate, and Kenneth will be back for segment three. Okay, welcome back to the afternoon stretch. Okay, so I'm Kenneth again. I'm going to lead you guys through your last segment, segment number three. Okay, so what we're doing for this final one is we are going to work our lower body. Okay, so again, five different exercises. Okay, we're doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Okay, again, okay, at your own pace. Okay, you don't need to go too fast. Make sure and maintain that form. Okay, so I'm going to lead you guys through the five different exercises and we will call it a day. Okay, so uh, exercise number one. Okay, we are going for our skaters. Okay, so we're going left to right. Okay, so make sure as you go for your skaters, go down low. Okay, we're going down for our skaters, okay, so make sure, okay, weight on one foot, okay, left to right, okay, as you go side to side, okay, move those hands as well, okay, make sure the legs bent, okay, the weight is going down, okay, on one leg, okay, so we're going to feel it, okay, on our quads as we go left to right, okay, so for exercise number two, okay, we're going for a kick through, so we're going down to the ground, okay, so in your push-up position, okay, this, okay, you're going to start off with shoulders above your hands, you're going to bring, okay, your knees in, okay, as we twist left to right, Okay, we're going to bring one foot flat down to the ground. We're going to kick out. Okay, one side. Okay, you're going to come back in. Okay, you're going to kick out to the other side. Okay, so make sure legs straight. Okay, hands up. Okay, we're going to come back in. Okay, again, kick all the way out. So make sure weight down on the hand. Okay, one leg out straight. Okay, one hand off the ground. Okay, so that's your kick through. Okay, once we're done with that, okay, we're going for exercise. Number three, okay, Cossack squats, we're going, to uh, we're going to do unilateral movements. That means we're going to concentrate on one side okay, of the body. Okay, we're going side to side on those squats. So as we go down, okay, try to go as low as you can. Okay, make sure, okay, legs straight. Okay, you're going to come all the way up. Okay, you're going to come back down. Okay, if you can, point your toes up as well. If you can't, it's okay, just point it down. Okay, so depending on your range of motion, okay, we're going to go all the way down, push all the way up, come back to center. Okay, down the other side, 
push all the way up back to center. Okay, so you should feel okay, your quads pushing you all the way up as you come back to center on this one. So that's the Cossack squat. Okay, so exercise number four, going back down onto the ground. Okay, we are going to do bridges. This is going to work your hamstrings, your glutes, but we're going to be doing single leg bridges. So hands down by the side, you're going to have one foot up again. Okay, four, uh, we're going the, uh, one foot for the first round, second round, we're going to switch legs and go. Okay, so one leg up, okay, you're going to have uh, 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 your back down to the ground as you push all the way up. Okay, squeeze the glutes, okay, back down, you're going to push all the way up again. So make sure hips, okay, as high as you can go, hands down by the side, you're going to push as high as you can. So you should feel your hamstrings working, okay, your glutes working, okay, as you push yourself as high as you can, all right? Okay, so last exercise, okay, we are going for squats to lunges. So again, working those legs, okay, down to a squat. Okay, you're gonna come all the way up, okay, into a lunge, okay, so lunge, okay, feet together, okay, down to a squat again, as low as you can. You're gonna step back into your lunge, left to right, okay? So back down to a squat, okay, left to right, okay, on those lunge. So again, 90, 90 for both legs as you go down, okay, and go back up. So make sure knees, okay, don't touch the ground, okay, as you go for your lunges, all right? Okay, so guys, we are going to start soon, okay, so five different exercises, okay, and then we are going 40 seconds of work, okay, 20 seconds of rest, okay, just go as fast as you can on this one, all right? So make sure as you start, okay, going to grab some water, Okay, wipe down as well. Okay, I know you guys have gone through two segments. Let's finish this off nice and strong. So get ready in five seconds. We're going to start with skaters first in three, two, and one. So side to side. Okay, legs down low. Okay, at your own pace. Okay, left to right. Okay, make sure as you go, try to have your hind foot not touch the ground. Okay, as you go side to side. If you can't find that balance, that's fine. The hind foot can touch. Just tap just lightly on the ground as you go left to right. Okay, so you feel your quads working. Okay, use those hands. Okay, do those skaters left to right. Okay, find that rhythm as you go. Okay, you got 10 more seconds of work. Okay, as we go side to side. So this is good. Okay, working one leg at each time. Okay, finding that balance. Okay, keep that core tight as well as you shift. All right, so good. Okay, rest up 20 seconds. Then we are going for a kick through. So kick through is how you want to enter into a kick through again. Push up position, hands down on the ground, shoulders right above the hands. Bring those knees in. Okay, you're gonna twist and rotate. Okay, left to right. Okay, so get ready in three, two, and let's go. So legs out, point. Okay, shift forward to the side. Make sure that foot that's planted down on the ground is completely flat. Okay, as we kick out side to side. Okay, so again, you don't have to rush on this. Okay, I want you guys to get the form right as you go left to right with this movement. Okay, so hands down, kick all the way out, come back in. Okay, make sure knees bend as you come in, all the way out, last 10 seconds, nice and slow. You should feel your quads burning on this one. Okay, and last rep, come back in and kick on out. All right, good. Okay, so rest up, 20 seconds of work. Okay, we are going for our Cossack squats. So again, feet wider than shoulder width. Okay, depending on your range of motion, okay, you don't have to go too low. Otherwise, okay, try to go as low as you can. Get a good stretch as well on this one. So in three, in two, and one. Okay, let's go. All the way down. I'm gonna push all the way up. Down, and up. Nice, okay, so keep that chest out. Okay, and the back straight as you go down for your Cossack squat. So the toes pointing up as well. It's gonna give you, give you a nice, good, deep stretch as you do this exercise as well. Okay, so down, all the way up. Okay, doing real good. Here your last 10 seconds. You're gonna keep that chest out. Okay, make sure, don't go on your toes. Make sure f uh, the feet that's planted, okay, this foot is basically flat down on the ground as you shift from side to side. All right, good. Okay, so rest up. Okay, 20 seconds of work. Working our glutes, okay, hamstrings. Next, we're going for single leg bridge. So depending on you, we can either start with the left foot up, right foot up, doesn't matter. We're gonna switch in between rounds, okay? So I'm gonna go with my left, okay, hands down by the side. You're gonna push all the way up, okay, and back down. Try to have your bum not touch the ground, okay? So that foot, okay, try to keep it straight, 
okay, as you push all the way up. Okay, nice. If you can't, it's all right. Just land all the way down on the ground. Push all the way up as high as you can, all right? All the way down. Let's push all the way up. Okay, good. Okay, simple exercise in this one. You should feel the weight down on your heels as you push. It's going to engage a lot more of your hamstrings. Okay, and really squeeze the bum as well. Okay, squeeze your glutes as you push all the way up and come back down. Okay, last rep in three, two, and one. There you go. Okay, good. So last one. Okay, the first round. Okay, we are going for squats to lunges. Okay, so if you want to do a progression, you can always do a squat jump into a lunge. A squat jump straight into a lunge is going to burn a lot more. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to do a squat to lunge. So no jumps on this one. Okay, just down to a squat. Okay, so squat chest out, back straight. You're going to step back into a lunge, left to right. So squat. Okay, you're going to step back. Okay, knees don't touch the ground as you go for that lunge. So come back in, squat again, okay, into your lunge. Okay, squat and lunge, step back, left to right. Okay, good. Squat and lunge. Okay, so those of you who want to pick up the pace, go ahead, go as fast as you can. Okay, but make sure always maintain that form. Keep your back straight, chest out as you lunge and you squat. Okay, do not go too low as well. Okay, good. So rest up. Okay, we're done with our first round. Okay, we're going one more round and we're done for the workout today. So, okay, back to skaters. Again, left to right. Make sure stay down low for those skaters, all right? So get ready in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Okay, so down to the side, left to right. Okay, jump as far as you can. Okay, but make sure stay down low. Really engage, okay, work those quads as you go from side, okay, to side. Okay, nice, down low. Okay, again, those of you, okay, can't find that balance, can tap, okay, the legs over at the back, okay, as you go left to right. It's going to give you a bit more balance, okay, a little bit more stability as you go left to right, okay. Okay, so good, in three, two, and one, well done, okay. So on next to kick throughs, okay, so set up, again, shoulders right above the hands, bring those legs in, okay, and we are going to twist out and kick, okay, so get ready, in three, in two, and let's go. So go with me, let's go. Legs in, we're gonna kick out, okay, keep those legs straight, just kick on out. Okay, feel the legs burning on this one. The quads are burning. We've done quite a few exercises already. Okay, heart rate slightly pumping as you go through your reps. Okay, legs in, twist out and kick. Legs in, twist out and kick. Okay, so as you bring in, you're going into a beast position. Beast is basically knees down, okay, in that tabletop like this, okay? So kick on out, leg straight, come back in, and rest. So 20 seconds of rest, okay, next, going for a Cossack squat, going side to side, okay, again, feet wide. Okay, 10 more seconds, grab a drink if you want, okay, wipe down, okay, we're gonna go. Okay, in five, four, okay, in three, two, and let's go. Okay, so set down to the, the side, push all the way up, okay, so, Point your toes up, come back in, all the way down, point those toes up. Okay, make sure feet, again, flat down on the ground. Okay, depending on your range of motion again. Okay, don't need to go too low. Make sure as you go down, okay, this feet, this foot, okay, all the way down, flat. Okay, make sure keep it at that as we go from side to side. Last 10 seconds. Okay, point your toes up, nice. Okay, in three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, good. Okay, two more exercises and we call it a day. Okay, so single leg bridge. Okay, as you go down on the ground. Okay, if you start it with your left leg up, okay, we're going right this time. So vice versa, versa depending on which leg you start it with, okay, we're going to go with the other one. All right, so in three, two, one. Okay, down on the ground, hands by the side, leg straight. Going to push all the way up. Okay, come all the way back down. 
Okay, as you come down, okay, make sure you control that movement. As you come down, don't just drop your hips down. Okay, control as you drop, okay? So weight on your heels, engage those hamstrings, engage the glutes at the top as you drop down. Okay, good. So drop nice and slow, hands by the side. Okay, out. Okay, drop down nice and slow. There you go. Okay, good. A couple more reps. Okay, we got about five more seconds to go. Let's push all the way up. Last rep down. Three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to go last one. Okay, our squats to lunges. Okay, drop down into that squat. Make sure your chest out. Okay, squat down. Okay, all the way up. Okay, into a lunge. All right, so get ready. In three, two, one. Let's go. Our last 40 seconds. Okay, drop. Okay, step back into a lunge. Left and right. Okay, drop again. Left and right. Keep that chest out. Okay, that back straight. Drop into a squat, all the way up. Okay, make sure feet flat down on the ground as you go for the squat. Okay, do not go on your toes. Okay, do not hinge forward too much as well. Okay, always maintain that straight back. Okay, all the way up, nice. Okay, last 10 seconds, guys. Let's go, all the way down. Okay, push, well done. In three, two, and one. All right, good job. Okay, well done. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're segment number three. Okay, there was all lower body exercises. Okay, well done, guys. Hope your legs are burning on that one. Okay, so thank you for joining me and Yao Xiang today for the afternoon stretch. Okay, we hope to see you guys again. Okay, and keep going through. Okay, keep uh, doing your workouts. Okay, do not stop. Although the circuit breaker okay, is almost at phase two, all right? Keep going and push yourself. All right, guys, so thank you very much, and we will see you very soon again.